Guten Tag, everybody. That's German. That's me speaking German. We are just about to leave this Airbnb in Munich. We actually have like a full, well, we have a full day here because, hey, hey, trying to vlog here. Trying to vlog. So we have a night train. We're taking the night train tonight to Rome. It's 12 hours long. So we thought, hey. I think it's actually like 13. I just saw. Oh my gosh. Does that change things? I just hope our kids sleep for all of it. <laughs> so he gave us these, which is like a rhubarb juice. I like strawberry rhubarb pie, but like rhubarb itself is basically like celery, so. Don't Cheers. chug the whole thing. No, no, just drink a little bit. Cheers. You're gonna like. It's all right. First up, it was kind of just like, it's a little bit like Martinelli's, but it has a little bit of a weird aftertaste. But a little bit different. You wanna try some? It's not bad. Mm. You'll like it. I'm on the mood to try stuff. Try it. I hate trying things. What if it like ruins my day? It won't. It really, this is not something that will ruin your day. That's carbonated. Oh, come on. No, that is weird. I do not like that. It's not that bad though. No, that is, tastes like throw up. No, it. No. No. Oh, no, that's not now bad. Now my day's ruined. No, it's not. So Porter had a fever yesterday as we were walking around and he's like normally so good and just walks and walks and walks and never complains. And yesterday he was just like, I'm so tired. I, my legs hurt. I can't walk anymore. And he was just so sad. And then he was like, I'm freezing cold, mom. And I'm like, okay, that's it. You have something, you're, you're sick. So we made it home as fast as we could and then just let everyone go to sleep and watch TV and stuff. But he's already feeling better, and so I'm hoping it was just kind of like a 12 hour, 24 hour deal. Honestly, I'm kind of feeling a little bit sick now, but don't tell Zach. <laughs> Bo was actually a little bit sick too. He had a fever. He actually has a little bit of a rash. Um, oops, sorry. <laughs> you can see on his belly, a little, I don't know if it's just like from a little virus he has, or teething. teething. But he's feeling better today, and he's getting some teeth, so this is like traveling with babies, right? He's like almost one and a half, he's getting teeth constantly. But it's fine, he sleeps really good. So if your kids sleep good, then don't be afraid to travel. Hold on now. Since we are not traveling until late tonight, we are putting our luggage in lockers here at the train station. It's like five euros for a locker, for like the biggest one. We can walk around and not have our luggage with us. Okay, well, mine's locked now and I have the key out. Are you paying money? Yeah. There you go. Everyone go potty? Yep. Day two of beer garden. Can we I got please? some yummy food. That's dessert. Please? Some fries, some meatloaf sandwich. Yummy, yummy. Yeah. yeah. Pretzel, sausage and fries, and spare ribs. I'm Loving it <laughs> so much. Bo, what are you doing? You making trouble? Bo's really cranky today. That one might. <laughs> that shows are mean. <laughs> okay. I need to explain this whole situation because I we actually forgot to explain it in the moment. We had this night train, but Porter was so sick, and so we were like, we can't walk around anymore. We need to go back to the train station and find a place where Porter can lay down. But once we got to the train station, there was only this like very uncomfortable waiting room for passengers and it wasn't going to work the floor was like dirty and the anyway it was so we like we're looking around and lo and behold next door there's like the first class 
waiting area. Like we didn't have the exact right tickets. We had like, I can't remember what they are now. Zach is the best at this type of thing because he can like schmooze anyone into getting in to where we wanna be, especially when we have like three beautiful children with us. They love us. So we didn't have the correct ticketing, but Zach goes in and he's like, well, we, were, we like walk in like we're supposed to be there and they ask for our tickets and they say you don't have the right tickets, it's not necessarily like you have to have this or that and so we all just kind of put on our stuff. It's just like, oh, well, okay. I don't know what Zach said anymore. I'm so mad that we forgot to document this, but he put on the charm and the lady in the front desk was just like, you know what, it's okay, just... You guys can come in. And so we got to sit on these like nice comfy couches. Porter could lay down because he was feeling really sick at the moment. And they had like free drinks. And so they had coffee and tea and a bunch of fountain drinks. So I got my Diet Coke, which was like everything. It was just really funny. But uh, an awkward part was that we found this little area where there was a lot of people. It was kind of like enclosed so our kids can kind of just be there, we had the iPad running and things. But right across, they had like a wall of, a wall of like fake plants. And across that wall was like the first class area where it was like, you had to have a very special ticket to sit over there. And some, one of the men that was over that like came over and was kind of like jokingly at one point, but then at another point he was like kind of upset with us that we were being noisy. Which, Bo was being noisy, and I know that that's like annoying, but we did our best, and at that point it was kind of like, sorry, like we have a sick kid, we're a family of, with three kids like traveling, and for the most part our kids are being pretty good. Why don't you just put some headphones in and, and like, sorry, like we weren't gonna be there forever. Anyway. <laughs> I don't know what we would have done if Zach didn't get us into this little spot. Okay, moving on. Out of the beds. What can, what can we do on here? Uh, uh, you gonna go up? No. Why not? I'm, I'm afraid it'll just go yeah. up. Wait. What? I'm afraid the ladder will. No, the ladder's not going anywhere. Looks like really fun up there. Hey. Yeah, I'm gonna sleep up here. No. This is gonna be kind of fun, actually. It's gonna be so fun. And everyone sleeps. <laughs> Don't take it out. Is it yummy? These are all natural sleep aids for children. I got them on Amazon. Oh, here we go. <gasps> here we go. Anyway, I think it helps. I know I post a lot of like happy times of the kids, but a lot of the time they are cranky. Wanna get up here? So that's the reservation on this, okay? Tickets. I'm big old. No, no, no. I'm big old tomorrow for you, okay? Do what? 
Okay, I also have to interject here because this night train was one of my favorite nights, which is saying a lot because I was sick. I had a fever like this whole train ride, but for some reason, I was giddy like the whole night because it was dark outside, but the sky was a little bit lit just from like, I don't know, like the reflection of the snow on the mountains or something. I don't know. I don't know what it was, but I seriously felt like I was in a movie or something. Like I had just recently watched um, Murder on the Orient Express, the new one, and like I was just getting some major vibes, which might sound backwards because maybe I would be scared, but I wasn't scared of being murdered. I was just excited to be on a night train. It was such an adventure. Like that's what it was. It was an adventure. And I, if you ever have the chance to go on a night train, it's probably not for everyone. It was small quarters, but our kids slept really good. And Bo slept and he was, he just slept like at the foot of my bed and I kind of put my feet on the outside. So if he like moved, I could, I would wake up and keep him safe. But like the next day, I mean, I was sick as well. And so I was, I was tired from not having really good sleep on the train and then I was sick and then and then we had to walk the next day like all over the place to get to our new Airbnb. So it was pretty crazy but we got through it and in the end I have like very good memories of the night train. Sorry, I gotta hold you, ma'am. Gotta hold you. Quick, can you say a Okay, say goodbye, guys. Say goodbye, Munich. Say, auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen, Munich. München. München. I said it, I said it right. You did great. Okay.